is G Suite the best email service to send cold emails? Let's figure it out. Currently, G Suite has more than 2 billion active users all around the world. So that's one of the most uh, biggest and popular email providers. And is it really good to send cold emails using this specific email provider? Let's take a look at it from different perspectives. Price, setup, warm-up process, sending limits and spam restrictions. Okay, price. G Suite basic plan costs $6 per month. And of course, I'm not mentioning free Gmail because we shouldn't use free email accounts to send cold emails. To compare G Suite Basic with, for example, Microsoft Office, it's a little bit more expensive, but generally prices are uh, comparable. And uh, in G Suite, you have a great environment of different apps that might be uh, useful for your business. When it comes to setup process, uh, it's not really complicated. What you need to do, of course, is to get a new domain and to connect it to a G Suite account, or you have an existing uh, domain. Also, you need to connect it to a G Suite account. You have all the guides how to do that in Google. Um, what you really need to remember about is to set up your SPF and DKIM records uh, in your domain name settings, your DNS. And also cool that Google has all the guides and all the steps described how to do this. When it comes to warm-up process, uh, also want to mention that we have a separate video about three steps you should take to start an email outreach and we have described it, but let's say you have a new domain of course it takes time to it takes even more time to warm up a new domain from two up to three months but when it comes to g suite account if it's a brand new email address you need to uh, take three four weeks to send emails manually uh, or to send emails uh, really really small numbers of emails to get this uh, account warmed up and of course it's not a problem you just need to be uh, consistent and you just need to increase the volume of emails you send day by day and not to send uh, like a lot of emails rapidly of course it will trigger spam filters but G Suite is not so focused on daily sending limits of course they are important and the set sending frequency is also important but when it comes to spam restrictions G Suite is focused on the content you send. And that's really important. Your emails should be personalized, relevant to your recipients, and they should somehow react to them, respond, open. There should be kind of interaction between you. And then spam filters, uh, they see those patterns, and then you have a good uh, reputation. Uh, in Woodpecker, you have everything to personalize emails uh, and to make your copy relevant. To sum up, of course, it wasn't an advert of G Suite. I think in the next videos we will review some other email providers. But when it comes to G Suite, definitely it's one of the best uh, email tools uh, in the world and it's good to send cold emails using this specific provider. Uh, but what you need to consider is, of course, to focus on your copy and focus on limits. If you have a great, uh, relevant copy, and if it's targeted, of course, you will get really great results. And one thing that I need to mention is that the combination of Woodpecker and G Suite is equal to great deliver deliverability. Uh, so keep it in mind. Hope this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.